This week on Pinks, northern neighbors come to Texas to race for the titles of their extreme performance snowmobiles. Old school, new school, one sled ride. In a unique Pinks episode. Do you believe this? It's a best three out of five drag race for Pink Slips. We're not giving them nothing. Pink's racing. Lose the race. Lose your ride. First of all, I want to welcome you guys to Pinks, and it's uh, once in a while the network throws me some love and says, you know, take an episode that you want to do. Well, the second I got that information, I put the word out there, got a hold of Terry, and said, it's time to do snowmobiles on asphalt. I've been watching, yeah, I've been watching it a long time, right? I've been, I'm from the Midwest, I'm from Iowa, and watched that a long time, and I just love it, it's just fantastic. Before we get started, I want you guys to know that uh, this episode is being uh, sponsored by Napa who's a sponsor of Ides, Valvoline, and we also have the help of H&H &H Trailer. So if you have some kind of mechanical failure, H&H &H follows us around wherever we go, and they're here to help, help you any way that they can as well. Now, before we start the first negotiation, I've asked Dan Wade to come here and run an exhibition pass for us, because I don't think people can truly understand how fast these snowmobiles are. So currently, who's the world record holder on a snowmobile? I drove it, uh, Jeff Simon, Simon CPR owns it. Mm -hmm. uh, we went 797, 171 miles an hour. That's just unfathomable for most people. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring snowmobiles to a place where people have never seen it before. So what we're gonna try to do is get a great pass out of you. Don't get hurt, but before we start this episode, we're going to turn on the lights, we're gonna turn on the tree, and all of us are gonna stand here while you make one pass to show just how fast these snowmobiles are. So Dan, I want to wish you the best of luck. And you, you, you could potentially break a world record here right now. Good luck, my friend. Thanks All right, Dan, wait, everybody. Um, since I contacted you first, I want to give you the uh, the honor of, of saying what you're looking for for the first race. I'm looking at, heads up. Oh, by the way, what is your sled exactly? My sled is a 2006 Yamaha Apex. Okay. Anything special in there? Uh, it does have nitrous oxide. It's okay. got a Wall Brothers suspension. It's bad to the bone. Okay, Tyler, and thank you for coming. I mean, tell me about your sled. The 96 VMAX 4800. Okay. With completely stock, except for pipes. Just out here to try and have some fun and win Terry sled. Uh, is this a dangerous sport? It can be. Yeah, I saw last night, I came to watch you guys make some passes, and that's why we decided to go a little bit earlier in the track time. And if your back ends get away, it, it's, it, there's a lot of power going to those, the rear ends of those sleds. Correct. What are you looking for? You see he like a heads up race to go the first well, one? Well, we gotta judge the race, so I think we gotta do a heads up. Okay, great, so the first one's gonna be a heads up. So right now, it's no time to go back. This is for your actual sleds. You got a sign right there, Terry. Good. So let's get our helmets on, shake hands. This is the first one, Caleb finish line. Let's race. Yeah. We'll let Terry go first and do his burnout first because this thing, it, once it heats up, it loses power. Let's do it. Good luck, Tyler.
Terry, yeah! Woo! All right. Yeah! It's like a college football game. Yeah! 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 Right. Right. <laughs> Tyler, would you agree on that one that you were outperformed by Terry? Correct. By three lengths. Okay, so Tyler, what happened on that on that pass for you? Looked like it was a good clean run. Yeah, it spun a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what else Mitch to say. It doesn't seem like it's pulling on top end, but it is what it is. And your and your pass? It was good. It was good. You, everything felt good. Now you got out of the groove felt, a little bit. Everything felt good. I did get out of the groove a little bit, but it, it still stuck. But I knew that Tyler had a problem. I I Otherwise, he would have been right there, right there with okay, him. Okay, okay. So I bet you he did spend a little bit. Okay, so does that mean, so what are you looking for for this next race? You got beat by three, according to Kale. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I like to see heads up. So what, what, what are you looking for in this one, Tyler? Give me three lengths. You, would you give him three lengths? He spun. I could tell. I could probably tell. Because otherwise, just a he'd little be bit right out there. Of the groove. Yeah, he'd we be were... right there with me. So yeah, maybe yeah. give him one or two? Tell you what, we're pretty good sports. We'd probably be willing to go maybe one and a half. About one and a half. One and a half. If you don't spin, do you feel like your you feel like your sled is is competitive with his? Give me two. Why don't you give him two on this one pass, and then did they make it a one and one? And you're, 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 you're already ahead, ahead by one. His. I know I'm ahead by one. Um, but I want to stay ahead by two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one and three quarter. One and three quarter. Two. Would you take the two, or do you want to go one and three quarter? You take the one and three quarter. I think uh, we're talking about a quarter sled. I mean, we're talking skis, basically. So I mean, but you feel like you really need two. You know, the good news about making him run, giving him two, is that he's going to have to run that thing. You're going to learn a lot about his sled and what it can do today and how he's hooking up. So it's, it's up to you. But I mean, three quarter, two, not much of a difference there. I'll give him two. You want to take two? OK, shake hands. Kale, finish line. Let's go. have to change the bottle after the third round. We've been on the pad on both sides of the tires, really? okay. and actually that pass out of the hole felt the best, but it's still spun. All right, I heard it click. We're good. Strong leave though. I'll tell you what, he hit hard out of the back. Oh, got him. I don't know. Looked like he was ahead. I hope. Boy, it was tight. It was very tight. We Go think close. the guy in the blue set won, but we're not exactly sure. And I'll tell you what, that was a good. That was a good race. That was tight and it was good. This is so close. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Wow, it was all over the place. I'm not giving him nothing.
Tyler, great job on that on that hook, man. That was good. Terry, would you agree on that one that you were outperformed by Tyler? Okay, yeah. we went back to the monitor and it was uh, we had to. Kale was too close to call. Definitely too close. Yeah, way too close to call. To call. And it was it was Randy wants to say it was a whole sled. I'm telling you, it was about this much. Okay. That, that quarter that, of a sled. That Jesus. quarter of a sled. You can't, for peripheral vision, you cannot see. You just can't see who won. No. Nope. You guys I, can't see anything. I, I didn't know who won until I came back. And right. Randy told me. Okay, so would you, so you agree on that one that you're up for by that court? Yeah, that's what okay. you guys say, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> now, um, makes the show move along. Okay, so now what are you looking for? Well, we gave you one and three quarter last time, correct? Oh, two. two. We gave you two? Two. Now, I think. Now he was. Oh, yeah, I want to hear what he has to ask out I, I drifted, so I was eating up your I, tea I want to hear what he has to say here. As you can clearly see, I drifted. Tyler, we'll get to you. Just give me a second. All right. All right, what are you looking for, Terry? On this we, race. We gave him two. You gave him two. You gave him his race. And we're even up now. One to one. Can we go back to heads up? Great. Let's go back to Let's heads, go up. heads up. One. No, I drifted, so that was eating up TT. I'd like to do two again. Crowd, crowd wants a little heads up. There's, two's not going to happen. You got your two last time. You beat him. Now it's his turn, so now it's time for you to give a little bit. So what would be good? Sled and a half. Would you give him one sled? Would you give him one? Take a half. Would you take a half? I'm, I'm thinking more like a one. One sled would we'll probably one. do it. A one. One, one sled. sled. I think one sled's a hell of a race. Old school, new school. One sled right. And we go. We line them up right now. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. Gonna be tight. This is so tight. We like it. We like it tight. There well, you that's, go. I remember one that. Sled. Believe me, I one remember. Sled. One, one sled. sled. Yeah, he you said one sled. Sled. one sled. One sled. One sled. What's your sled, man? Keep one sled. One sled. Kale finish line. Let's race. He's still drifting a little bit right. We got to figure out the drift. He slept on the last one. I don't know what he was thinking, but he left way late. I'm surprised he won that one. Tyler, that was a great hit. I mean, he left like a bat out of hell. Hopefully this one wins one more time and we'll be bringing that red one home. Tyler, would you agree on that one that Terry outperformed you again? We got to be about you by three quarters of a sled. Yes? Yes. Okay. So, Kenneth, uh, Kenneth is joining us on this episode of Pinks and the next couple episodes because I'm putting him at the eighth mile to see what's happening. What do you report back for the eighth mile? Um, at the eighth mile, Tyler was ahead about three fourths. So, so Terry just reeled him in. Now, can you see him at that point? I'm not even looking at him. I'm looking can, straight. Can I'm you, looking can you hear him? I mean, can you see him coming or type of thing? I can see him, yep. He's oh. coming. He's creeping on me. He's, He's creeping, creeping on you. Now, did you drift on that? You look like a perfect run. No, I did drift again. Did you really? Go off to the right. Go off to the right. That's the difference here. Typically, the launch pad is in for bikes and sleds and stuff is either in one of the tire marks. 
today the best spot is on the crown of the track, which is not flat. So he's having a tough time when he leaves. It's stripped him to the right zone. Are you doing but the same that thing? That is the stick. I that time. Yeah. Are you running I, up in the crown or in one of the grooves? I'm in the groove. You're in the groove. I'm okay. just actually. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I've been across the track. Okay. And... But that's the thing. I mean, the best spot for his sled is on that crown. So it's finicky. So right now we have a two to one. Uh, you know, lead. If you lose this next race, you lose your ride. And if you win, of course, you're going to take home a $12,000 sled. So at this time, I got to look for him for what race you're looking for. So, what are you looking for, Tyler? No nitrous. Oh, that's no interesting. Bottle? Heads up, no bottle? No, I can't run the bottle. Can't run with no bottle. I can't run without no bottle. My clutching is set up for the bottle. If I run without the bottle. Well, it was an interesting. Oh, yeah. No yeah. way. There's a point today. How about yes, nitrous but... half track? Turn it on. No, 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 no. We don't do that. I... Huh? What We're I'm looking for, I'm looking for two lengths. You know, on pinks, I'd take that race in two seconds. He spins, he drifts, you you hit your race, you're gonna take his sled home on this pass. That's fair, that's a fair race. I've seen it happen. Um, Charles, how many times does it happen on pinks when they All throw the He should have asked for how many? Well, I had to <laughs> he, sh he should have asked for five, right? I mean to guarantee that you're gonna try to keep your I mean, sled. It, no, 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 it came out of your mouth. You have a chance to accept this too. And I'm telling you right now, you hook, you run well. He makes one mistake, you're taking that sled home. That's the thing. I have to hook just like I did that last time. Terry, it's a gift. I know it is. It's a, uh, I, I Don't, just If you counter, no, no, if you, if no, you counter no, 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 he can say five. I know. Whatever comes out of your mouth, make sure. I just, I just have to make sure I get enough heat in that track to hit, hit a uh, bite like I did that last one. Hey, that's. I had a hard time doing a burnout that time, and I thought, oh my god, he is going to kill me. Point is, it, it worked. Same, we all right, same track conditions, but point is, whenever it comes out of your mouth, you say, yes, I'll give him two. If you say no, I if you say get, one and a half. I'll take that. I'm, it came out of your mouth, man. That's a good race. Take your two. Race. Just take two lengths, and that's then. Fair race. And, and, and Tyler, if you lose this race, you lose your ride. Terry, good luck. This is what it comes down to, man. Good luck, guys. Shake hands. Kale the finish line. Let's race. The strategy for last one is going to be all in the drivers who can go ahead and leave off of Rich. Just had to take a breath, buddy. Just had to take a breath. <laughs> Just more and stayed on the crowd. That was perfect. That thing just didn't lift it up. It's Terry Burmeister by two. Woo! Like one. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Woo! Ah! Oh. You know what? Yeah! Yeah! Woo! What do you think? You got a 2006 against a 1996. Old school, new school. You can't beat it. He should have asked five. He should have asked five when he had, you know what I mean? He did a great honorable thing, but that's just like when you're down one. Oh. Tyler, would you agree on that one that Terry outperformed you? Yes, he did. At this time, I'd like to award you a $12,000 sled oh, from Tyler's <laughs> to you. Congratulations, Terry. You did a great job. All right. All right. Hey, oh, listen. Man. You guys represented snowmobiles so well. You don't know what you just did for your sport. You gave it a, some national attention. You guys raced. You did the honorable thing by giving two. Can you believe he gave you two? And you to hesitate? I almost had to slap you. <laughs> I love you, but I almost had to slap you. Hey, I had to make sure I was going to bite on that starting yeah. 
and I held that thing back as hard as I, I, I could. I, 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 you know, <laughs> snowmobiles, to me, on, on asphalt, it's just cool. That's well, a, can we do it again? Oh, yeah. Believe me, well, you gotta ask him. You don't have a sled anymore. Yeah, we try it. Well, yeah, exactly. So at this time, I wanna thank you guys. You guys did a great job. So on behalf of myself, my team, Napa, Valvoline, h, h Trailer, I want to thank you guys all for making the effort. Congratulations, Terry, and thank you all for being on Pinks. Thanks, guys. Right. Terry, can you make it quick? Make it real you know what? The outfit doesn't match. You don't want this thing. You're just not color coordinated anymore. Look at that sled. Yeah, twelve thousand dollars sled. It's all yours, buddy. Do you believe this? <laughs> Hold another one.